Andrew wasn't your typical hunter. He didn't crave trophies or fancy furs. Andrew, with his trusty knapsack and even trustier smile, adventured into the wilds for a far greater treasure. Family fun every weekend, Andrew. His wife Beatrice, with her hair the color of sunshine, and their two energetic children, Maya and Leo, would pack their bags with excitement. Not weapons, Maya, with her braid bouncing, dreamt of spotting shy forest creatures, while Leo, a freckled ball of curiosity, longed to explore hidden waterfalls. Their adventures weren't about hunting prey, but about hunting for the perfect picnic spot. They'd follow winding trails, their laughter echoing through the trees, until they stumbled upon a sun-dappled clearing. Beatrice, a whiz with a campfire, would weave stories into the smoke while Andrew, a champion storyteller himself, mimic animal calls, making the forest come alive. One crisp autumn day, their hunt led them to a babbling brook. Maya, ever the explorer, spotted a glint amongst the pebbles. It was a golden compass, its needles spinning wildly, intrigued. They followed its frantic direction, deeper into the woods. The compass led them to a hidden meadow, and like any they'd seen, butterflies with wings like stained glass fluttered amongst wildflowers that shimmered with an otherworldly glow. In the center stood a magnificent oak, its branches adorned with tiny houses, a whole village for fairies. The family froze, unsure how to greet these magical creatures. But then, a tiny fairy with dandelion fluff hair peeked out. Welcome, adventurers, she chirped. We've been waiting for you. It turned out, the compass was a fairy invitation. The forest was losing its magic and the fairies needed Andrew's adventurous spirit. Beatrice's kind heart, Maya's sharp eyes, and Leo's boundless energy to help. Together, they followed a trail of sparkling dewdrops, helping lost fireflies find their way back to their glowing mushrooms, and guiding playful sprites back to their mischievous games. By nightfall, the forest was alive with its usual magic. The grateful fairies showered the family with gifts, shimmering pebbles that whispered secrets of the forest and luminous seeds that bloomed into laughter-filled flowers. Andrew, Beatrice, Maya, and Leo returned home, not with a hunt trophy, but with a story more precious than any gold. They learned that the greatest adventures aren't always about what you catch, but about the wonders you discover and the memories you create along the way. They continued their weekend explorations, their hearts full of the magic they'd found, not by hunting creatures, but by befriending them.